So I get, the, I get this call. My agent's all excited. Lee, there's a big producer over at Universal who read The Walk, and he loves it, wants to make a movie out of it. You've got to go down and see him. You have a meeting Wednesday at 10. So I prepare myself for the meeting because I am, of course, in the TV and movie business. I have an idea of what his problems may be with the, with the book and the adaptation. So I go into the, to the meeting, and he starts by telling me, oh, I just thought the book was incredible. I loved it. It was just so funny and scary, and it's a terrific book. Thank you. Thank you very much. He said, I have a couple of concerns. The hero being in the TV business, he, and I interrupted him. I know exactly what you're going to say. It's too inside that being in the TV business makes it something that people can't relate to. He doesn't have to be in the TV business. He could be a plumber. He could be an insurance salesman. He can be anything. And I had some idea of what other profession he should be in. And the producer said, yeah, that, that's all good. But could he be six Midwestern cheerleaders? What? Six Midwestern cheerleaders are in LA for a big conference or competition, and they're stuck in downtown LA when the big one hits. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll think about that. He says, well, while you're thinking about that, LA, earthquakes, that's kind of a cliche. Could it be a flood? A flood? Yeah, or a tsunami or something. So basically what you're saying is you want to do a movie about six Midwestern cheerleaders in wet t-shirts who have to get from downtown Los Angeles to the San Fernando Valley. And he went, exactly. And I got up and I left. <laughs> what did he like about the book? Was it the cover? Was it the title? It made no sense to me. But that's a purely Hollywood story and frighteningly real.